Frage, ob gestern, ja, wie kommt es dazu, dass so ein Jazzmusiker so jemand überhaupt dann sich interessiert für sowas und warum und so weiter. Ähm, ich wollte eine kurze Geschichte erzählen. Ähm, als ich äh, Teenager war, war ich in einer Schule, ähm, die Knabenschule, und ich hatte einen äh, Englischlehrer, und der war ganz toll, und der hat äh, für uns als 14, 15-Jährige diese Liebe weckt für, für diesen Mann James Joyce. Und ähm, witzigerweise war die Schule, wo ich war, in Neuseeland, jetzt Mitte der 90 er nicht weit entfernt in jeder Hinsicht von der Schule, was James Joyce beschreibt, in Irland, so 1890, also sehr strenge, diese ganz strenge katholische Erziehung und so weiter, das kennt man ein bisschen. Und ähm, wir haben dann als ja, Teenager irgendwie so lieben lernen seine, seine, seine Texte, ähm, Kurzgeschichten, und dann hat er einen Roman geschrieben, Portrait of the Artist, The Young Man, was ein bisschen autobiografisch ist. Ähm, und äh, danach, ein bisschen später, hat er ein Buch geschrieben, was auch sehr schön ist, heißt Ulysses. Das spielt an einem Tag in Dublin, im 4., also 19, äh, 1904. Ähm, das habe ich gerade noch geschafft. Und danach aber kam so sein letztes Werk, das hier, The Higgins Way, ähm, was für viele von uns, also englischsprachige Menschen, auch sehr schwierig ist. Also, Manche Leute schaffen vielleicht eine Seite oder zwei Seiten und dann sagen, ja, nee, lass mal. Ne? Weil ähm, der spielt sehr viel mit den Worten, es ist alles umbuchstabiert, ähm, die Sätze fließen ineinander und ähm, erstmal versteht man nicht so viel, wenn man das so liest. Ähm, allerdings so über die Jahre habe ich immer wieder so hineingelesen und vielleicht weil das ist ein Moment, weil ich habe mal irgendwann gehört, eine Aufnahme, wo James Joyce dasselbe vorliest. Und ich habe auch selber gesagt, dass dieses Buch eigentlich erst dann richtig so auflebt, wenn das vorgelesen wird, also mit vorgetragen und gesungen oder erzählt. Und in der Tat hört man auf einmal sehr viel da drin, meiner Meinung nach. Wenn jetzt hier Leute sitzen würden aus Irland, Schottland, Neuseeland, USA, würde man, würden die auch sehr, sehr wenig verstehen. Also verstehen muss man jetzt nicht unbedingt bei dem Buch. Wie er selber sagt, also Ulysses, das Buch davor, ähm, findet tagsüber statt. Das ist eigentlich die Geschichte von manchen Menschen in Dublin, die dann dort den Tag sich bewegen und man liest auch, was sie denken. Und es fließt alles ein bisschen ineinander. Aber noch viel schlimmer, extremer wird es bei diesem Buch, was sein Nachtbuch war. Das heißt, ähm, das findet alles in der Nacht statt und oft weiß man wirklich nicht, wer, wer erzählt, wer nicht. Es ist wie ein Traum. Das mischt sich immer, kennt man auch ein bisschen von selber, wenn man träumt manchmal. Und das, das ist dann hinterher, kann man ein bisschen rekonstruieren, was passiert da, aber vieles ist dann nicht ganz so klar. So ist es bei Finnegan's Wake. Und ähm, einer meiner ersten kleinen bescheidenen Projekte hier als Improviser in Residence war, dass ich ein Kapitel aufgenommen habe in meinem Residence. Und ähm, für eine neue, eine neue Auflage, wo Musiker, Musiker haben einfach das ganze Buch nochmal aufgenommen, also jeder auf seine Weise. Ich habe einen Titel bekommen, was sehr schwierig war, eine Kneipenszene, wo die ganz besonders irgendwie mit der Sprache spielen. Und, aber es war eine schöne Sache und hinzu kommt die Tatsache, dass, dass dieses Werk jetzt sozusagen frei ist. Also es ist nicht mehr unter dem Schutz vom Verlag, wie leider bei uns in der ersten Gucci-Hälfte. Das ist immer noch dann sehr streng geschützt und das ist eben offen. Das heißt, man kann mit diesem Text machen, was man möchte. Das ist für uns sehr schön. Ähm, über die Jahre war es immer wieder schwierig, dann sowas zu machen, man musste immer so Rechte beauftragen und so weiter. Jetzt, kann man, jetzt ist es eben frei, dieser Text. Es ähm, ist ein großer Text und ich habe einfach dann viele verschiedene Teile ausgewählt, die für meine Ohren schön klingen. Ähm, ich darf nochmal betonen, also verstehen muss man das eigentlich nicht. Es geht um Klang der Sprache hier, der hat so weit über 100 Sprachen reingepackt. Ähm, es kommt Deutsch auch vor, es kommt Dänisch, und es kommt alles, also Maori aus Neuseeland kommt hier vor. Der hat damals, also 30er Jahre, schon alles reingepackt, was nur ginge. Ähm, aber auch diese Klangebene, ganz besonders ist das, ähm, das Werk von, von ihm auch sehr interessant. Und daher ähm, würde ich gerne jetzt hier in Mörs heute Abend zum zweiten Mal ähm, meine Lieblingsstelle und ähm, einen Teil so also, euch dann präsentieren, zusammen mit Philipp. Also, bitte geht's weiter.
Lowly, longly, a whale went forth, pure yawn lay low. On the mead of the helic lay, hot soul dormant, mid shadows, land shape, brief water to his side, an arm loose, a his staff of citron riot. Tradition stick pass on. His dream monologue was over, of course, but his drama, parapolylogic, had yet to be a fact. Most his locks of a lucan tinge, quick rich, rightly rippling, unfilleted, those lashed, attached lids on the verge of closing time. Wild ooze of his side, wise open mouth, the breath of air, even so languishing as the princeliest treble treacle or lychee chum child purse could buy. Yawn in a semi swoon lay a wailing in hope. What helpings of honey full swoop to head she Would ye have piercing dulcitude? As were you supposed to go and push with your blood blank pain in hand up until his flesh is plush, pushy nets of some chubby boy ball of love of an angel? When, as the buzzer brings the light brigade, Keeping the home spires burning, so in the cheering call themselves, came with him from the west borders of the east midlands. Three kings in three suits and a crown, from all their cardinal parts, along the amber way where Brosnan's pretty. To lift them they did, senators form, by the first quaint creak of the gloaming, and they hopped it up the mountain mole, traversing climbs of all times gone by of the days, not worth remembering. Inventing some excuses, any sort <coughs> ever sent me. Sad and weary, I go back to you, my cold father. Sad and weary. Speakers of free circulation back to half past them by Ron's. Sir Tristram, the Ole Amores, for over the short sea of Hassan Kauri, arrived from North America on this side, the spread yet of Europe and China, to where the fight is penis of it bore, not at topsoil and rocks. Ever, and how else do we hook up hike to find that point of water place? I'm shot, to the big guard. Went, quick lunch bell left, wheel to wear, long Livius lane, mid Mensa Ponte Mall, hanging as an amatory square, teacher race crescent, short read Berkeley Alley, queer fixing Gainsborough Carfax. On the Guido de Rezzo's gave way, I knew it is lane, but wow, I've been with it. All meek around point. But far we fear. With his drawing every place, fire and disgrace. Be far we fear. A natural, simple, slavish filial. Men be about pebbles. The marriage of Montan, wetting his bowl, we know. Like any Easterns, could call in a fade in a rotary. Undi and Ubi, sick. Don't reach me, as our Lord. On the green, Margulies, the dread nest of joy boys. From Pat Mullen, Tom. Mullen, Dan, Melvin, Don, Melvin, a slick stick, picnic made in Mont by Melvin's. The solid man, saved by a silly woman, crack a joke in a way, like a hearse on fire, the almond and will this, way before it, read wrote of it, sick ramble it, hand tore it, and wild with war, and treated it, black black face. It was folding with cunning, sealed with crime, untied by a harlot, 
undone by a child. It was life, but was it fair? It was free, but was it art? The old hunks on the hill reared to perlection. It made ma, make merry, then sissy so shine, and run some shine up shin, and some shame, shame to shawl. It una in it, spilled famine with droughts in a gripper, the pro pasted spells, tribulations in a stream. Ah, feuchte, feuchte, to mit den Neides, and a meal o' miller on friars, plow and sweeves too, sweeves too, and swore was free, and mother war was we. A pair of silk panties with annie glen eyes, all one obstinate, lumpy pumpkin, and three medals on its slides. And that was how Francine Franson, as to your robes, fin fin, fun fun, city narrows. Now tell me. Tell me, tell me then, what was it? Ah, oh. So there you are now, there they were, when all was over again, before with them, sitting around up in the judges' chambers, in the monument room, and marshal say, under the suspices of the lay, around their all traditional tables of the law, like so many solemns to talk over the run for a summer game. Well and truly dry, suffering law and the truth, according to Kilman's evidence. The four of them, and thank God now, there were no more of them, so pass the push for poor sake. Be it soon, a whole. Do you remember? Slipper, the bad father, the same. The whole door gone, and it's all in there. Dirty daddy pantaloons and his momopiliums behind the war of the two roses. With Michael Victory, the shaman's Preston, the boy standing verdict of Nolan's promise. One after King, having murdered all the English he knew. He out his pockets, and let the tribunal scot free, trading his Tommy Lummies. Tunic in his hurry. There are none that are proudly showing off the blink patch to his brickins to prove himself. Ain't please you, a rich until to the Swiss Bobby Yards, Curio, the court light, Commodore Valley, oh yeah, Lee, R3, Jenny Rosie. The fire water look returned with such a vine smelling fortitude and ages, raw down hands, tiny light as would lighten stomach, even its humors equal us. We were prepared. The chaps club clap, the accent, but took us by surprise, and now we're gashing it like a gush gush from Vernon. The fall! Ah, oh, the fall! Rings on the aqua face, and weary over like to you, my cold father, 
my cold mad father, my cold mad fiery father, to the mere sight of the mere size of them, the moyas and moyas of it, moan and moaning, makes me see silt, so it's sick, and I rush my only into your arms, and I see them rising, <gasps> save me from those terrible prongs, two more, one, two more minutes. So, hey, blah, blah, my knees are duted from me. Oh, but one clings still, I'll bear on me, to remind me, wrong me, wrong me, wrong me, wrong me, wrong me, wrong me. So soft this morning, owls, 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 owls. Yes, 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 yes. Carry me along, Teddy, 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 Teddy. Look like you done to the toy fair. I've seen him beating down on me now, and the white red wings ring wings like it come from the night angels. I sink, I die down over his feet, humbly, dumbly, only to rustle. <gasps> burst, burst, burst. Yes, 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 dead, dead, dead. That's where I went. We pass through grass behind the bush to wish. I go. Go.
carry me along, Teddy. Like you've done to the toy fair. If I see him bearing down, you leave the way in a wild goat chase. Oh, that's a all the great to do tonight. Ah, she canceled all the great men. She climbed over the banister. She gave a child, Louis. Louis. Like this, she was gone. It's a dramatic instrument. Hey, my dear. Sing it out to me. Oh, it was a leap to you. A leap to you. A leap to you. I threw it shipped on her by and by. Left in his little little heart. He's broke. Why, oh, why, oh, why? Way away. Oh, see, so silly for me, Chloe, but I know I can't stay. They can always, and I know who all goes. Hungry cat, and I know the troubles. Is there one who understands me? Is there one who understands me? River Run. Oh, tell me how. Oh, 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 tell me. Oh, tell me all about Anna Olivia. I want to hear all about Anna Olivia. Well, you know Anna Olivia. Yes, of course. We all know Anna Olivia. Tell me all. Tell me how you'll die when you're here. Well, you know, Tom Chip went fat and did what you know. Yes, I know. Go on, go on. Wash the words and don't be dabbling. Tuck up your sleeves and loosen your talk tapes. And don't butt me like any man. Whatever it was they threw to make you try to do in the finish part. He's an awful old rap. Look at the shirt of him. Look at the dirt of him. He has all my water black on me. And steep, stupid, since this time last week. <gasps> When he goes is, and one day I washed it, I know by all the places he likes to sail. Throw it at you, Daddy. <coughs> Scorching my hand and starving my feather to make his private linen public. Wallop it well with your battle and clean up. My wrists are rusty, Robbie. The walls are stains, the nip is wet, and the game is obscene. What was it? The tail and the law? Yes, Humphrey, the illness, displeasing, exploits, and all. I know he well. I know he well. Tamp on tang will hiss for no man. No man. You spring, so shall you meet. Oh, the rosy old rat. Mincy marriage and making love. The ballad of Pierce O'Reilly. The clip, the clock, or clown, glass of crush. The Music, you. Music, you. The Ballad of Yes Arai. Have you heard of Humpty Dumpty? How he fell with a roll and a rumble. Curled up like land of the trunk pie by the front of the magistrate wall. Of the magazine wall. Well, Humpty at all. Aditi. Aditi, music cue. Had you heard? He ought to blush for himself, the old hay headed old Lazarus. With a go and shut himself away on top of her. The god. The trucks of the catalogue of the other little zoo. Beer's been in the cold. No his lax, good as known. He was jolted by Wellington's monument. Aratorius the cold or Potamus. When some bugger let down to the backdrop of the omnibus. And he caught the death of the fusiliers with his wrench and reeds, given six years. Tis so pity for the innocent poor children, but look out for his missus legitimate. When that fru gets a grip of the old bear wicker, won't there be earwigs on the green? The earwigs on the green, the largest ever you see. So if gold, six ball, sort of that door, animal says. Then we'll have a free trade, God's band and must meet him. With a son to brave son of Scandin neighbory. And we'll bury him down in Oxman's town. Along with the devil and names. With the devil and names and all their remains. And not the king's men nor his horses. Will resurrect his corpus. For there's no true spell in conics or how. That's not able to raise Cain. Have you heard of one Humpty Dumpty? How he fell with a roll and a rumble. And curled up like a lord and left a crumble. With the butts of the magazine wall. Of the magazine wall. Of the helmets of all. To the jail of Mount Joy. The jail of Enjoy. <coughs> and religious reform. Hideous and form.
fussy. Posty changed that shirt for me. Ryan the Ran, the king of all rans. Universally provided by the soft stuffing salesman. Move around, I see your bands. We had chaw, chop chops, chair, chewing gum, with chicken pops, and china chickens. Misogenic, gas impure, flesh and blood games. Primo, more feedbacks. 
Alto sposato a terribili parm et punticos in senio de potari ne penia. Suspecto pluvie a pai gentus. Eris matis natibus in discuti natibus pensis hi a tropi quant. Clendi gemento manum suam ne lapu. Pai prosi! Trap in his hand, sorry! Possibly an Amali Negro has an entire classic room for sons that it was popular. Good up, Amy. So I have some bustle in. Rum, Mirani, Gorani. To the piss, says he. What's the Texas? Ask to be exonerated. Then I'm next. Secretary, Tony, Coriolis, Pete O'Reilly's, the indelible. Swamp of Bogger River, for the grease men's of roast beef of old Zealand. He could not touch it. See what happens when your son Irish merman takes his fancy to our vegetarian swan. He even ran away with himself, and became a parson in air, saying he would far sooner muddle as though the hash of lentils among those rebels in his state of hopelessly helpless intoxication. The piss law strove to live to send him here, to lead a master and take up his stuff. Oh, the lowness of him. No likely, if I want to refer to a first shot of gun bullet, you know, on this group out there either. Oh dear, no. Instead, the tragic justice soft and so windy, good, bad and apple jack, sweet and sour, great for his hand. You hear him twist the sentimental cup slips when he has gone down. So 
Hashem himself and Dr. Tor took the cake. The correct solution being, all oh, give it up. When he is all, yours to the reddit of the rocks. Sham. Shem was a sham and a low sham and his lowness creeped out first via foodstuffs. So low was he, they preferred Gibson's tea time sandwiches. So low was he, inexpensive as pleasing, but plumbers grow heavy, lax, the friskiest power, and smooth and chocolate. Vielen Dank fürs Kommen heute Abend, es war eine sehr schöne Sache und bis bald. <lacht> 